Well, hello there. I am Karen Eileen Gordon, and welcome to another fabulous Working Wednesdays. Yes. Those of you who already know me may know that I am also a working on-camera film and television actor. And unusually, my career in voiceover and my career in on-camera sort of started together and has developed side by side. So I have an unusual perspective of being very clear that the tools used by those at the top of their game for film and television, our favorite Oscar and Emmy winners, those tools are gorgeously applicable to your voiceover toolkit and your voiceover career. I'd like to thank the Academy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to start with one of my personal favorites, Meryl Streep. Now, if perhaps you have just arrived from another planet and have never heard of Meryl Streep, let me inform you that she is considered perhaps the greatest actor of our generation. This is my voiceover booth. It's a beautiful four by six whisper room. I love some magical atmosphere in my booth. These are on all the time, even though they're behind me. <laughs> I want to remind you that the internet is your global personal library. And in this regard, when we're talking about gifts from Oscar and Emmy winners, it's this simple. You can do an internet search, Google search, whatever browser you're using, an internet search for your favorite actor's name prepares. I did a really brief search on how Meryl Streep prepares, and I'm going to show you what I got right here. There are bazillions of videos and articles on how your very favorite actors and actresses get into character, prepare for character, get grounded in a character. And where that applies to us as voiceover artists is who are we as we're talking and who are we talking to? One of Meryl's tools, a giant wall in Meryl Streep's home. Huge wall, floor to ceiling, giant wall, covered with cutouts of faces and imagery that really speaks to her. And when she gets ready to prep for a role, she literally will stand in front of that wall and look, and look for bits and pieces of things that evoke in her the kind of feeling that she feels like the character would have. And so one of the many ways that can translate to us as voiceover artists is using imagery. So I have here some pieces of imagery that I put up in my room when I'm doing this particular book. Those of you who know me also know that I have a mad love for audiobooks. I do a lot of them. These are two pieces from a book that I did where a lot of the characters were Latino or Latina. And so this was my inspiration for a character named Eliseo. And this was my inspiration for a character named Rosa. And they would be up on the wall, either behind me or in front of me as I was recording. So I want to encourage you, like Meryl Streep's wall, to find imagery that might connect you to a particular character or a vibe. If there's a particular image that really, really gets you in the zone when you're reading commercial copy, have that image in front of you. If there's an image that really gets you in the zone when you're auditioning for an animated character, have that image in front of you. The alternative is to create a mini version of what Meryl Streep has in her home, and that is called a vision board. And for those of you who are unfamiliar, a vision board is literally a piece of paper or a piece of poster board. It can be any size that's somewhere in your line of vision. People hang them in their offices, in their bathrooms, in their bedrooms, in their kitchens, somewhere where they're crossing their line of sight on a daily basis. And what I know as both an on-camera actress and a voiceover talent is that there are certain images that get me into a certain mode or place immediately. If the actor or actress themselves evokes in you a particular mood or character or vibe, put a picture of them up there. 
all of these people and characters are open to all of us, regardless of gender. So if you are a female narrator and you're reading a political thriller and Denzel Washington gets you into the right place, you are free to have his picture in front of you at all times and channel him. And this is meant to be fun and playful. So what I'd like to suggest is that you make a list of your favorite Oscar and Emmy winners. You can then Google how so-and-so prepares and see if you can get tips and tricks, or you can print out an image of them, put it up in your booth, or an image of the favorite character they play and put that up in your booth. And if you wanna create a vision board, you can pull images from anywhere, from a magazine, from the internet, from a newspaper, from your scrapbook, from photos you've taken, images that feed your character building well. It was my joy to share with you tips and tricks, gifts from Oscar and Emmy winning actors that are applicable to you in your voiceover career. Thanks for joining me.